I'm Joan and this is Lauren and we founded Lufthouse to help our customers deliver the right information in the right moment. So now what does this mean? Imagine you're in a museum. You wander around, you see a painting that you love. You walk up to that painting and you want to know more. You could get on Google, you could check out an audio device, um, but this is all pretty cumbersome and draws you out of that experience. And that's why we're here. We want to provide that effortless connectivity between physical experience and digital information. So imagine you're back in that museum, but as you walk up to that painting, it immediately begins to tell you about itself through text and multimedia audio on your phone. So that's what this solves a problem for consumers because it gives them that easy access to information and solves a problem for curators because it lets them give that information to consumers in the right moment and give that depth. Um, this instantaneous and passive information transfer has a number of other applications. So imagine you're at a trade show and you want to communicate with the customer across the way. Or you're a college campus and you want to deliver campus tours. Well, we can provide that. Our technology is currently in the alpha stage of development and it uses location-based communication to deliver that right information in that right moment for any of these potential applications. So we do this based on um, a new technology, Bluetooth Smart which is a new iteration on Bluetooth technology that is low energy and cost effective. So what we do is we install these sensors around an area, say a museum, they're weather resistant, low battery, and they automatically trigger um, preset media from the user's smartphones. Our app installed on users' smartphones delivers uh, multimedia content, features a minimalistic interface, and can display video, audio, um, whatever web-based content our customers want. Our customers can manage the experiences on our cloud-based system, so they can just drag and drop, easy interface, um, and control the experiences they want their consumers to have, curate the perfect experience. So it sounds great, but why should we be doing this now? Like Joan said, there's this new iteration of Bluetooth, um, Bluetooth LE, and this basically makes our opportunity unique because previously location-based knowledge had to be used, uh, had to use GPS or Wi-Fi, both of which aren't very precise in terms of proximity and usually can't be used very well inside. They can't distinguish well between rooms or floors in a building. And on top of that, it's really reached critical mass, as they might say. Um, Two-thirds of all smart devices have Bluetooth LE capabilities, and Apple is really embracing it in their new um, updates, so this is really a great stage to step up on and take advantage of this. We're ready to take that next step, um, trying to connect that information, physical and digital, but right now there's a lot of, um, there's a missing link where it's difficult to implement this technology for a lot of people. Some people have also seen this opportunity, and they've, uh, gone into mostly retail, smart home, and wellness spaces. But right now we see a big gap in info ed, which is basically museums or walking tours, and event spaces. Uh, there's some expansion into baseball stadiums and South by Southwest use them, but overall the opportunity has mostly not been taken advantage of. These markets are very large. Um, info ed tours, specifically in museums, is our target market is $46 million. And in terms of event and trade show, we've got $420 million of our target market. Um, museums are considered our closest target, and then our trade shows are really our largest market. Our value can really be broken down into three segments. These are really why people would be willing to pay for this. We have location-specific content delivery. Like I said, that couldn't really be accomplished with GPS or Wi-Fi. We offer an expanded audience engagement, basically your patrons and visitors will have a better experience, be able to explore the content at their own pace, and are encouraged to wander to really ex um, explore the space. And lastly, we have a flexible, customizable platform. allows you to manage your content and access it as you uh, desire, and it's really flexible and able to be customized very easily. So in terms of who we've spoken to so far, we have a lot of value um, validation. One of the museum curators we talked to said this was a solution to a problem he had no idea how to solve. And an exhibit designer for trade shows said that our product will really help them stand out, which is their main goal. So our revenue model combines upfront installation fees with recurring monthly payments and royalties if applicable. So the beauty of this model is that it really mirrors the um, financial cycles of these different customers. So for museums, we have a higher upfront fee balanced out by lower monthly payments. And for trade shows, we do a lower upfront fee and take royalties when they resell that to their customers. So following these lines of revenue, we project a modest start 
and profitability by 2015 will sort of ramp up pretty quickly. Um, and as we saturate the uh, trade show market and the exhibit design market, um, imagine that it will catch on pretty fast. Um, just brief overview of some of our milestones. We are launching in September um, and plan to parlay that into hiring sales and business development team and deploying out to up to 15 customers um, in October with profitability by 2015. So thanks for talking with us. Um, we're excited to tell you about Lufthouse.